It's time to predict the scores of game week 9 of this 2023-2024 EFL Championship season. Last week in game week 7 with 13 points, Woodworm 9 was the top scorer. And the overall leader, over on the leaderboard, is Ferris77 on 91 and a half points. Myself, I found myself in 9th position on 79 points. So, all to play for as we predict the first fixture of this game week which takes place on the 29th of September we've got Sheffield Wednesday taking on Sunderland Sunderland suffered defeat at the hands of Cardiff City for the first time in five matches a game that they dominated however they succumbed to uh, pressure in the end against Cardiff and really Cardiff could have won that one 3-0 and Sheffield Wednesday continue to lose games losing six of their eight games played so far this season and it was another defeat last time out against Swansea City in this one I think they'll suffer defeat again and I can see them losing this one 2-0 at Hillsborough to make those Owls fans really really unhappy we then move on to Southampton taking on Leeds United Southampton four defeats on the bounce out Leeds United it's uh, a little bit inconsistent if this was going to be consistent they'd probably draw this game however I think they'll go down to the south coast and come away with all three points and you can see the Whites winning 2-1. Then we look at the Wurzels who take on Stoke City, the Potters at Ashton Gate on Saturday, 3 o'clock, of course. Uh, both of these teams losing on the weekend, last time out against Leicester and Hull City, respectively. I think Bristol City will bounce back in this one and I can see them winning 2-0. We then move on to the Cardiff City Stadium, which is a game that I will be attending with NWM. Cardiff, four victories in their last five matches. And Rotherham is just the one win this season. Although they did have a very, very good draw against what was league leaders Preston North End in their last match. In this one, though, I think the Millers will make it tough for the Bluebirds. And there is a number of former Bluebirds in that Rotherham side as well, like Sir Jordan Hugo and Steve Morrison, Lee Peltier, etc. But I fully expect Cardiff to come away with a 2 1 victory. Then we move on to John Smith Stadium with Huddersfield Town. Only one defeat in their last six matches. Take on Ipswich Town. Also only defeated at once this season. Four wins back to back. Last weekend it was a, a narrow 4-3 victory over Blackburn Rovers. So a tight win this one. But I think Ipswich will take all three points in a 2-1 away victory. We then move on to Hull against Plymouth. Plymouth Argyle last weekend were involved in an absolute thriller. Where they smashed Norwich 6-2. And Hull City. City, only one defeat this season and haven't been defeated in their last seven matches they come away with a 3-1 victory against Stoke so a tight one this one to call Plymouth will be full of confidence but I think that Hull will come away with a 1-0 win we then move down to London with Millwall take on Swansea. Uh, Millwall last time out, a 0-0 draw against West Brom and Swansea it was their first victory of the season. However, I think this one will probably see the, the uh, sport shared. Swansea now undefeated in the last couple of matches and also Millwall and I'm going to go for another draw in this one. I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one scoreline. We then move on to Carrow Road where uh, Norwich will hope to bounce back after that uh, pasting they had at the hands of the Pilgrims and Birmingham City a draw against QPR. Winless now in their last four matches. This is an East Anglia tight match but I think Norwich will just pip this one 2-1. We then move on to Preston North End who've won six of their last eight matches. A draw last time out which was disappointing for them against Rotherham and West Brom. The Baggies it's been three draws on the bounce now so another tight one to call this one. I think they'll cancel each other out and I think this will probably be the only goalless draw of the weekend in the championship. We then move on to QPR taking on Coventry City. Coventry City uh, throwing away that lead against Huddersfield where Huddersfield scored in what was it the 94th 95th minute. QPR okay doing better than expected although they couldn't score in that game last weekend so this one's going to be a tight one but I am going to 
just favour of the way the away side. I think Coventry are playing better than their, their record suggests in the league, and I'm going to go for a one nil narrow away win. We then move on to Vicarage Road, where Watford take on Middlesbrough. Now Middlesbrough chalking up their first victory of the season against Southampton in uh, in that, that their last match last weekend and Watford coming away with a defeat who've been so inconsistent this term only winning two matches in the league Middlesbrough seemed to turn a little bit of a corner Watford still all over the shop so I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw you can see Borough getting something here at, uh, at Vicarage Road and the final fixture of this game week takes place on Sunday lunchtime 12 o'clock in the UK Blackburn Rovers three defeats in their last four now and Leicester City they're just marching on to the title aren't they seven wins from eight matches and I think this they'll win this one comprehensively 2-0 so those are my predictions for game week nine of this EFL championship. Make sure you leave your predictions over at the Superbrew website. Remember, link in description and the league code is in there as well. Enjoy your championship weekend and I'll see you all in the next video.